Up the hill, Stansfield defending from Graham. Last lap, here we go. Zane Maloney is hovering on the back of Anker. He goes to the high side. That's a very interesting line, but he's got the speed to make it work. Can he cut back in? He's definitely closer than he would, and then Anker would like him to be down the hill. Look, Anker is defending big stuff, but Maloney is still keeping it on the inside. Brilliant overtake, and the Barbados posse has gone ballistic on the start straight. Brilliant stuff. Can he now hold it? Anker is back on the inside. There's a little bit of contact, and Anker had to back out of that one. That has pretty much given this on a plate as Stansfield goes through in a second place now. So this is going to be a huge points haul for Stansfield, but out of the final turn comes Zane. Maloney he has done it what an amazing drive from the young man from Barbados he has won in fantastic fashion here great great performance brilliant drive Stansfield is the best of the British runners in second place just in front of Georgie Anka Harry Graham is fourth in fourth, fourth in the championship look at Tabergate battle for the lead now Maloney looks for the outside line into Paddock this is brave stuff could get the cut back though but look at this, this is the battle for the lead. Is Louis Foster going to try and help his teammate? Or is he just going to try and get the wind moves over? It goes a bit wide, this brings Maloney alongside him. Maloney's on the inside as they come into Westfield. He's, he's got, got the lead. He's got him, he's gone through. Zane Maloney again, didn't need to do that, but saw the gap. He's the racer, goes through, into the lead. And remember, Maloney is chasing to get into double figures of race wins. He's in the lead. No extra points for leading laps. It's all going to count at the end of the race. Here we go again, you can see Louis Foss just ran a little bit wide as he came out of Alden. He tried to defend it before Westville, but Maloney's already got the job done. Gets it down the inside, on the throttle, manages to get the lead of the race. Tremendous pressure. There is Lullum, P4, under the Litchfield Bridge. Maloney just shadowing him. He will need to do something fast on his teammate. Wow, down the inside, Maloney takes the lead. For the first time in history, we have a driver from the Caribbean nation of Barbados leading the World Cup Racing Championships. But it's only for about 100 metres because the whiz Scott Dexter Patterson has gone through. Maloney tries to get him back. They go side by side. The RFM team drivers are fighting amongst themselves. Harry did not like that. He says... Third place, Louis Foster tries to nip up the inside line, but that is blocked by Maloney, who's got, of course, her camera on board with him. Joe Turney was next up, but he's been passed by Carter Williams up into fourth place, so Turney is down into fifth. This is always a little bit of a worrying moment where they go into the complex for the first time. Are they all going to make it through? Yes, it looks like they are, which is good. Is everybody through? OK, and a good start then from Tate Maloney now, who takes it up the uh, mechanical water getting ready for the start lights already on the gantry and away we go very quickly lights out they're getting the racing underway here now we've got Bart Horston who should have been starting further up but has a little bit of a penalty carried forward from the last round and we'll go on to that more as the meeting continues or as the race continues but super start by Carter Williams and side by side for third place, Zane Maloney makes the move stick on the outside line of Josh Skelton. Maybe you're jostling going on towards the back of the field. Alvarez looks to the outside line, leaves the door open there for Zane to come up. Zane Maloney on the inside line there. Is he going to get the run out of the hairpin? No, he can't quite do it. And now side line a little bit further back these are the battles for points positions and now look at this on board challenge for the lead and Zane Maloney's going for it and he's got it read that outside line superbly and Bart Horston I don't think knew he was coming there right, now look at Luke Browning coming have a big look behind him he eyeballed Zane Maloney the track runs wide a tighter line from Zane Maloney hearing over there at the Bushy Park circuit in Barbados. Your boy, Zane Maloney, all over the back of the Dane. They go side by side up the back straight. Oh, Edgar, can he do it? Edgar, it looked as though it was all over. Neil sits in the grass. He's out of it. Zane Maloney second. Oh, what a move, what a race. This is the last lap board. Nielsen will struggle to stay on the podium here this afternoon. He's back in third spot. He's under pressure from Christopher Lullum. He's got past the 2016 world champion, Pedro Hilprand. There is Lullum. He's just got him back though, Zane Maloney. 
Edgar, will he run out of time? This is the final lap. It's been a long time since we've heard the national anthem of Barbados in international motorsport. Down through the chicane. This is an awesome result for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team driver. Edgar will not do it. He's too far back. They come on to the straight. The winner is the boy from Barbados, Zane Maloney. He wins here at La Conca, Muro La Cese. Unbelievable as Edgar comes across the line in second. And the 2016 world champion, Pedrito Hillbrand for Team CRG from Spain, comes home in position number three. Is he going to keep it tight? Can't quite do it. Now looks at the inside as they head up towards the hairpin. Zane Maloney too there as well. And Maloney now attacking Carter Williams around the outside line. Great stuff from the Carlin driver who's hanging in there and challenging to get third position back. And he's got the line as they come down into Palmer Corner. Side by side in there four. And he's got him. Superb stuff by Zane Maloney. Pushes him wide. A little bit of opposite lock. Great car control from Carter Williams. Not, he's not be happy about going down to fourth place, but his teammate Josh Skelton's in the mix as well now as they come down into Agostini. Williams is still holding on to the outside line, but now has to see that to Josh Skelton who comes through. But look at this. For the first of 18 times, the front four have pulled away. We go back to Hadri and David. This is the Palmer chicane up the inside. Oh, what a move, what a brilliant pass by Zane Maloney. Harry Thompson does not need to be asked twice. Ricky Flynn Motorsport now go one and two. Christopher Lullum, who has dominated the whole weekend, is back into third spot, and he's now under pressure from the Russian Morozov. Can Lullum respond? Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a race on our hands. Zane Maloney, oh, as Morozov goes through. Lullum, let's take a look at the replay. He was leading into the Palmer chicane. You can't generally pass there. He was too conservative. The RFM drivers bang down the inside. A brilliant move. The driver from Barbados in the Caribbean, where the weather is nothing like we have here today in Spain. He now leads Zane Maloney. Second is Harry Thompson. Marotsov from Russia is third, the fastest qualifier. Lullum, who won three out of four heats. At the moment, he's... ...for the season, because that is impressive. He's only done two or three test days. He doesn't know car racing very, very well at all. As you can see, Maloney getting the run on Horston. He's going down the inside. Are these going to give him room? Side by side as they go through Graham. Oh, yes, great move from Maloney. Yeah, that was fair racing, wasn't it, between the two of them. Alvarez is coming up as well and monstering the Arden car at the minute. So Horston under a lot of pressure. So Alvarez, who led yesterday's race in the early stages, is challenging hard here and trying to get up onto the podium. Just to line up the boy from Barbados, the Bushy Park circuit one more time. Zane almost had a go at Johnny, down into turn number three. Into the hairpin, he goes defensive. Deli Quanti will have a run on the exit. Can he get Rossell around the outside? There is no space there. Edgar into the CRG hairpin. Rosso and Deli Guanti. Maloney gets back, Edgar. How good is this the OK final here at Adria Karting Raceway? The final of the Champions Cup here at the end of January. It is barely above freezing, but this is spectacular. Nicholas Nielsen with 1.9 seconds over Ferrari and then his battle for third. Now being led by Zane Maloney. Many a time he stood on the podium in WSK competition. He's two steps off a victory here this afternoon. Red lights on. Out pretty quickly. Good start by Louis Foster, who blasts through past Big Al into the lead. He's got another go on pole later on, but it's Foster leading. Zane Maloney, crucial great start. Looks at the outside line as they go into panic. Side by side. Oh, spin for Foster. Maloney stays on the luck. He's with Maloney at the moment. Louis Foster, surely he's going to be out of a championship now.